Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about VLOOKUP function in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with VLOOKUP in Excel. So what exactly is VLOOKUP function? Basically, VLOOKUP function is a lookup method involving to fetch the data from a tabular data set. Now, VLOOKUP function is a pre-made function in Excel which allows searches across columns. So basically, we have three type of lookup functions and VLOOKUP is one of those. We have VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and XLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is vertical lookup, HLOOKUP is horizontal lookup and X is a combination of both V and X lookup so the syntax for vlookup is as follows so we will have a lookup value that is the cell address or the value which you are looking for and the table array which is the range of elements that you want to look out for and the column is the resultant column from which you want the result and the match is it supposed to be an exact match or the nearest match so i believe the theoretical explanation of the syntax is incomplete without having a practical demonstration so let's get back to Excel and try to execute some VLOOKUP functions so that you have a key, a lookup function and especially a VLOOKUP function works in Excel, right? We are on the Excel spreadsheet right now. So let's start with a simple one, right? So here I will have car and price. So here I will give up a drop down menu using data validation. So that you can simply choose the data, right? So we will go to data, data validation, test, and the source will be, these are the ones for the source, and press, okay, you don't have to enter any error messages, etc. To know error messages and more details on data validation in Excel, please go through the data validation in Excel tutorial by simply down. And now in the price section, we will have the VLOOKUP function, right? Now the first one, lookup value, which is this particular cell, right? So VLOOKUP function will look for the value here. So let's say I give Lamborghini and then it will fetch the cost of Lamborghini from the table. So where is it looking for the value? First lookup value is Lamborghini, which is right in front of car in the cell A5. So that is the first parameter we need to provide or attribute we need to send out. Then the table array which table array should it look for this is the table array it looks for and i'm eliminating the header over here we need to eliminate the header and the column index number right now we are giving the car name and now we want the price so in the table car is column one price is column two right even if this particular car price is around anywhere in the table car is still considered as column one price is still considered as column two so we need the value from column two right so we will provide column number two and the last one exact match we want the exact match not appropriate match so select that press on tab to select now close the value right close the bracket now let's get back to car and now select any one of the cars let's select bmw right now when you select bmw what lookup is doing is it is first checking the value here lookup value is bmw so since we got the value as bmw it will go back to this particular table and fetch for the name bmw right and now it has the bmw data and now the third parameter that is column 2 right so it will check column 2 and see the exact match what is the value of the car 75 or 750 uh, million right 7.5 million dollars so that will give you the data over here that's it so that's how vlookup works now this is still a fundamental understanding of vlookup let's elaborate a little more to understand it in a much better way right now i i have here the flight data right and here you can see when i select the source and uh, destination and uh, flight which i want to fly in then it's it's giving me the price of the flight and the route in which it is going how did i do it so let's do it practically 
right so we will get back here and uh, here we will do some changes okay it's okay fine now here we have everything the source and destination airline price and route Let's also provide route. Source will be again data validation. Go to data, data validation will be a list. So this is the list, press OK. And destination is again data validation. Select list and now the list of destinations and the airline is again a data validation operation where you will give the set of or the list of airlines which you are offering and OK. Now comes the price equals to we look up passing these three values and the table array which is again the same the entire table except the headers next will be the column number so one two three four and five prices in the fifth column so i will pass column number five and i want exact match not appropriate match press tab to select close the bracket and enter right and the same applies to route so equals to or you can just copy the formula and paste it here and make a minor change that is instead of column number five you want column number four which has the route data right so column number four has the route data enter and there you go now out of the drop down when you select source as any uh, location here let's select mumbai and the destination as bangalore and the airline as let's fly in air india and you have the price details and the route so these particular ones you can you know hide because the data is coming over here so you can copy paste it to this place and let's hide these things and you can also hide this one as well There you go. Now the data is visually a little more appealing, and you can kind of have a complete, you know, dashboard where you have uh, the data of VLOOKUP results, right? So whenever you select any source and give any destination from the drop down, and choose any of the flights you want to fly with, and you will have the data over here right the price of the flight and the route of the flight and that's how you use vlookup in excel so if you want to learn more of such interesting skills and techniques to become a successful business analyst through an online training and certification program then search no more simply learns postgraduate program in business analysis from purdue university in collaboration with amazon google and microsoft should be the right choice please click on the link in the description box below so that you can get a complete overview of the program being offered. And before we end this tutorial on VLOOKUP, 
Now, before we conclude, let's listen from our learners about their success story after getting certified by Simply Learn's postgraduate program in business analysis from Purdue University. I have always been passionate about learning new things and improving my teaching skills. About five years ago, I realized that I have a gap in my knowledge, and to fill the gap, I needed to upskill myself. I chose Simply Learn as my upskilling partner because of its comprehensive curriculum and its connection with Purdue University. Hi, my name is Carlos Linares. I live in Lexington, in the state of Kentucky, in the United States. I am an assistant professor at Midway University, and I hold a PhD in management, human resources, and literature. I decided to opt for the post-graduation program in business analysis from Simpler, which has helped me a lot in my professional and personal life. I have been teaching even before I moved to the United States seven years ago. I tried to use Excel while teaching research classes, but since I only had the basic knowledge about it and other business intelligence tools, it was very difficult for me at the beginning. But after completing this class and learning how to use tools like Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Power Query properly, I feel like uh, it has been a total game changer for me. Now I apply these skills everywhere, which has also helped me a lot in my yearly review. I submitted all my certificates to my university and based on that, my university plans to develop a class focused on business analysis starting in fall 2023. And I am really excited. When I finally decided to go for an online program, I researched a lot. And finally, I chose Simply Learn. And I must say, it has been a wonderful experience. If you see how the business world is changing now, and skilling yourself is quite essential to keep up with the change. Everything works on numbers now. Data is more valuable and important than ever. So, I encourage you to keep learning and keep growing. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on VLOOKUP in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you want the resources that we used in this session, then please do let us know in the comment section below, and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe, and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.